Hey, welcome back. Don't you forget about me. La 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 la. You know, I found out not long ago that the kids still like The Breakfast Club after all these years. I'm in fact about the same age as those actors. In fact, I think I look a little bit like this guy. Really quite cute. Yeah, you may not see it, but have a look at him now. Huh? Am I right? Let's begin. It's now approaching the end of 1985. Now, by this time, I'd evolved since the time of Shane to a place where I wanted to do more than see men naked. I wanted to eat their and screw them with a and then if they weren't exhausted, through their bum bum and a long slide into their and their to the small side with a salad spinner many times with a fork bun a nice warm bath and I did yes I had had some early experiences with men but I was still mostly solidly in the closet and it was very hard I think I wanted to come out very badly but again it was just a different time it wasn't easy in the 80s I was still working at that damn chicken joint. The chicken joint was owned by this guy. Didn't really look like that, but pretty close. He was a homophobic Portuguese guy who I would sometimes drink with. I knew him once to say, I hate gays. The kitchen and busing staff, of which I was a part, were mostly uh, very homophobic, but also very hot Portuguese men. Now, I'm not saying all Portuguese men are homophobic, or all homophobics are Portuguese, or all kitchen staff is Portuguese, or all kitchen staff are homophobic, or all kitchens are homophobic, or all staff of kitchens are kitchens, all kitchens are home... Anyway, let's get on with it. I was very secretly just in love with these solid little muscular blue-eyed dark-haired men. It was hard to keep it in my pants in the change room, I gotta tell you. Man, I gotta send me now just thinking about it, if I'm honest. Anyway, there was this Christmas party that year at the tackiest hotel in Ottawa. A few employees actually got rooms there, for what I don't know. I mean, I don't think this crowd cared much if they drove home drunk. <laughs> uh, maybe they wanted to stick it with the. We all gathered in some sort of party room. As always, at these parties, there was lots to drink. And I'm getting drunker and drunker. And I begin singing this song, or the music, that I presumably invented. No, not that song. This was different than that. It was just a kind of a rhythmic... I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I had a big smile on my face. Uh, I'm gay. I'm gay. Looking at people while I'm doing it, it was weird. I'm trying to think what it looked like. Oh, it looked like nothing else in the world. It looked like a drunken gay guy coming out in the most bizarre fashion. I did this while circling the room, telling everyone that would listen, as well as some that clearly weren't, using the medium of song and dance, that I was gay. And then I started to cry, just burst out into tears splattered all over the floor. I mean, this was a deluge. This was a flood of snotty tears. My eyeliner was running. Even my Alberto Moose was beginning to fail. Someone took me into one of the rooms to try to calm me down. They took turns watching over me. Amazingly, this time, I didn't take my clothes off. One guy in particular was very kind. He had some sweet things to say, very encouraging. Uh, I felt like I found a friend. It was nice. And no, he didn't want to stick in him. Later on, I sobered up just enough to walk with some assistance. We went to another room. How many rooms did these guys get? There was a small party gathered there. Just kind of a quiet drinking party. And I started to do a little speech for everyone. Oh, I think you know what's coming. Listen, I may need to brush up on my 
Drunkenese is a foreign language. I know the books around here somewhere. What is the quickest way to the park? He's doing a park about five minutes down around the way up the street. Mm, my pronunciation isn't very good. It's a tonal language. I'm sorry, man. I'm just embarrassed everyone. I embarrassed myself when I was around, jumping around. Gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. I just start to cry and I'm just really so sorry. Feeling a little bit better now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to leave for a little while, but. And here, I found the cutest, most dangerous little Portuguese man in the room. I pointed right at him and I said, When I come back, I have plans for you. The room went dead silence. Some kind people just got me out of there quick. They just got me out of there quick. This was tantamount to throwing an Israeli flag into a room full of Hezbollah. And the worst part was I had to go back to work with these guys. Some of them used meat cleavers. The scariest thing was that they didn't say a word, but as the saying goes, if looks could kill. Oh, by the way, the guy that was so nice to me in the room, my new friend, yeah, no. He clearly wasn't on my side anymore. It's sad, really, when I think back that I had to be blind, drunk, and desperate to come out. Thank God I was leaving the country. No, I'm not kidding. I was actually leaving the country. I was going to Madrid for a school term, and that's good because I think I might have left the country anyway just to escape the Canadian Portuguese chicken mafia that I'd angered. I wonder if now the owner of that chicken joint, uh, probably 60 years old, sitting somewhere going, I hate those gays. Honestly, I hate those gays. I wonder if that young Portuguese guy that I'd embarrassed now, you know, about the same age as me, is just sitting somewhere going, Eu va descobrir que viado que me abraçou há 30 anos, eu vou matá-lo. Just the other day, there was a guy in the office having a birthday, and I asked him in a very sly way if he'd like a nice birthday hug. Um, he said, yeah, right here. I routinely flirt with most of the men in the office, and I honestly think they'd feel sad and left out if I didn't. Why doesn't Bob flirt with me? Doesn't he think I'm pretty? Oh, I've got fat. I mean, I'm telling you, that's a huge shift from I hate gays. So, times have changed quite a bit, yes. And I think coming out is a very important part of a gay man's process. But please, be careful. Don't come out blind drunk at a staff Christmas party and then make a pass at a homophobic Portuguese chicken mafia co-worker.